on your show not pregnant. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Last time you were here, you not only were you pregnant, you accidentally revealed the gender of your baby. I did. Yeah. I, did. <laughs> I did. Whoops. Let's see if we can slip into something else. <laughs> By the way, I can't believe that this title wasn't take an open Me book. It's like a... I was so shocked. I was like, I'm just like an open book. Could that? Oh, that could be the title. And it's great because it not cleared. only is it a good title, it's directions, really. Like, you pick it up, and it's like, oh, open book. Exactly. <laughs> and there I go. That's I would, the double meaning makes Was sense. it hard to, like, write a book about your life? Was that something that was difficult? Well, I mean, there's been so many things in my life that have happened that you kind of can't make it up. Yeah. And I wanted to fill the world in on these fun stories, but also emotional stories. And right. just kind of how I got to the place I'm in now. Some very tough stories. Very A tough lot stories, of very yes. fun and interesting stories. Yes. <laughs> there's including... definitely moments. You'll be crying, and then you'll start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you auditioned for the Mickey Mouse Club. I did. And this is something I never realized. I assumed you obviously would have gotten right into that with, you know, Britney and Justin and whatever, but you did not get into the Mickey I Mouse didn't. Club. I didn't. I didn't. But I did go to the, like, to the finals, but they said that I needed, like, acting lessons. Ah. And um, so in Dallas, I mean... Apparently, Chuck Norris is like the person to go to. So well, he yeah. was. Well, yeah. You mean for acting lessons? Yeah, he was my acting coach. Was Chuck? Was he really? Yes, he, he was my acting coach, and he was, you know, a little tough. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to just just slide by Chuck Norris being your acting coach. <laughs> what year is this that Chuck Norris is your acting coach? I mean, I was 12 years old. Okay. You know, so 92. 92. Now, yeah. this is just before, like, Walker, Texas Ranger. Yes, yes. And Barney was my acting partner. What, the dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> but basically, like, he said that I was, I had too many expressions Who did, on Barney? My face. No, <laughs> no, Barney is oh. in a suit, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, tell me what kind of advice you're acting. He had a school for acting? He did. He had a school for acting. The Chuck Norris School yeah. for Acting. And, yes. <laughs> I was destined to get a Razzie, you know? Wow. <laughs> you know, I took but... karate lessons from Lee Strasberg. A little known story, but, but go on. So you're in no, Chuck's yeah. class. I mean, he saw one of my tapes. He told me I moved my eyebrows too much. <laughs> he did? Yeah, and I had to do all of my lines with my eyebrows taped. Taped how? Well, he asked me who my favorite actor was, and I thought, should I say Chuck Norris, you know? <laughs> uh, and he told me to channel my inner, my inner Denzel Washington. OK. He yes. told a 12-year-old girl to channel her in, yeah. inner Denzel Washington. Okay. I mean, I didn't know who that was at the time. My <laughs> eyebrows were taped down, and he said... Who, wait, what kind of tape? Like just some masking tape, masking you know? tape, like scotch tape. And who uh, put the tape on, tape on your head? Uh, well, it wasn't Chuck. It wasn't Chuck. It was Chuck. like his like. He has person. a taper. He has a taper. He okay. Has, he has an actual taper for your eyebrows. <laughs> okay, this but is some yeah, school. I mean, it really it ruined like every Denzel Washington movie. Well, how did it ruin? All I, all I do is watch for his eyebrows, like every scene. I'm wow. looking at his eyebrows. Do you think there was anything to that? The eyebrow? Don't you want to move your I eyebrows? I mean, away? apparently Chuck Norris is very serious about keeping your eyebrows still. Gosh, yeah. now I'm gonna have to go back and I him. literally. Like was twelve years old. I, I, you know, I'm like, this is the Mickey Mouse Club. Aren't we supposed to be like, you know? Ah! Like, yes, <laughs> you are. And being rejected yeah. by Mickey Mouse has got to really hit you I mean, hard it was, too. It was painful in that moment. It was yeah. the most devastating thing I could have gone through. So, you know? did you have a relationship then with the other Mouseketeers? I well, throughout life, um, we yes. all found our way back to each other in I ways. See. We were in the same circuit. And um, I knew Justin Timberlake very well. Right. Um, okay. After divorce, and he was out of a relationship, he was like over at my house. Oh. And uh, we shared a nostalgic kiss. But, and I thought, oh, this is interesting. And he took his phone out and started typing. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I hope that's not like another girl. Like, did I like stick my tongue out too much or, you know? <laughs> but um, apparently him and Ryan Gosling had a bet on who would kiss me first when they were 12 years old. And so he texted Ryan and said he won the bet. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, 
Oh, okay. Um, so we don't kiss again. Yeah. <laughs> the, wow. That's the, done. That's <laughs> now. Does do they know about these stories in the book? I mean, no, no, but that, that that's just like a little part. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's well that's not something like else. I'm How much did they bet? Did you ever juice. find out? What? How much did they bet? I don't even know what they bet. Mm -hmm. Lord knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd have to ask Justin. Ryan Gosling. So you never had a crush on him or Ryan anything was like that. the one that I was like. When I was 12, I was like, this guy is so cool, and he's from Canada. I don't know where that is on the map, <laughs> but I really think that that's amazing, and there was something so cute about him. <laughs> I still feel that way about him. I really do. Yeah. Oh, this, this is crazy. But yeah. Justin won the bet. <laughs> have your parents read the book? They have. They have. Mm -hmm. You had to fire your dad at one point. Is that I something did, you talk about? I did. I did. That was, I do talk about that. In the book, that was a very hard thing for me to yeah, do because sure. he was always my manager, and that that was our relationship. How um, did you do that? What was the? How did it go? Did you call him into your office? No, <laughs> I, I don't, didn't even have an office. <laughs> um, he did, but uh -huh. uh, did but you call no, him no, into no. his office? No, we were actually at dinner. Uh huh. We were at dinner, just like a family dinner. Did you wait till the meal had been served, or had it was? No, it, it just flew out of my mouth. I see. Yeah. In an angry way, or no, in, it, just no. in like this is how I have to take care of. My parents were going through a divorce at the mm -hmm. time. And I was like, this is how I have to take care of the situation. And was the rest of the family just quietly eating? I mean, I don't think they were listening to us. <laughs> really? Well, a lot of people don't listen to my dad and I. We kind of go off on our own rants. Interesting. But, I would have uh, been zeroed right in on all of that. <laughs> I, was, there were, I would yeah. not have missed one beat of it. No, yeah. but I mean, he's backstage right now. Oh, so, so you've rehired him? Uh, no, no, he's just like my best friend. So I see. Like, both my parents are backstage. Both yeah. your parents are backstage, yeah. even though they're split up. Yeah. And Always you, supporting me. And you, you not fire them as your parents. You fired no. only your dad as, you know, like, hit the road. No, no, no more my, Christmases. My father's an amazing father, and he was a great manager. But at the time, I needed to do things on my own. Right. I well, really explain it to, to him. I don't know. Of you know. My own life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of good stuff. We're going to talk about a lot of the stuff. Jessica Simpson is here. This is her book. It's called Open Book. We'll be right back with Jessica. Try these. I need buffalo. Buffalo idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? No, it's okay. But it's why they're called buffalo wings. Baby, because. Oh, I don't know this. Because barbecue wings started in Buffalo or something like that. You never find it weird that buffaloes don't have wings? I never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I... And of course, what year was Newlyweds on? How long ago was that? I mean, 2002 was when Nick and I got married. Wow. So it was like immediate. Yeah, I would, let me tell you something. For, do you ever watch that? Have, when's the last time you went back and watched one of those I shows? mean, we'll go back and look at clips. Every and, once in a while. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's I good. love that. And yeah. I would love it. And I don't know what's going on between you guys, but I would love it. it I know Nick is married, you're married, you each have three kids. You should all move in together into a house. <laughs> And do I mean, that it show. Is Hollywood. <laughs> it is Hollywood. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something special Wouldn't to see? Wouldn't that be a reality show? <laughs> that would be a great show. Just saying, if you're interested, if we'll I'm interested, you'll produce. I'll buy you a house. <laughs> oh, oh. <Yeah. laughs> I, don't get ridiculous. There are a lot I don't think you know my taste. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a very small house with a lot of cameras in it. Um, you are, have a lot of great stories in the book. One of them is about going to the White House. You performed at the White House for President yeah, Bush, right? I did. I did multiple times. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I mean, the White House is so enchanting, you know. And I was there for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yes, Christmas was, at the White House. I mean, sure. it's really a spectacular place to be. And my father and I were walking around and meeting people. Um, and he introduced me to the Secretary of Interior, and I'm like, I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> How did the secretary react to that Oh, statement? she walked away. <laughs> <laughs> As my dad was pinching my arm. <laughs> <laughs> President Bush probably said the same thing when he met her, too. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, what's the most embarrassing thing you reveal personally in the book, as far as Light stuff goes. I mean, there's lots of embarrassing moments, and I think that what's fun is that I actually like reveal them, share them. I mean, I don't know what the actual most embarrassing thing is. You don't seem that is. uptight about 
things I in mean, general. I mean, I did at the White House mess up the lyrics to God Bless America. I said, God bless the rivers. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. In the song, and... God bless the rivers. I know. I, I, I don't know why, why I did that, and... It's um, a nice sentiment, though, for the rivers. You know, yeah. for the rivers. <laughs> I was blessing, I was asking God to bless them. Um, but the president came up to me afterwards, he goes, God blesses the rivers, too, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, wow. I know that that was a mess up. And so now I, like... I'm afraid of rivers. <laughs> is, it, is it true that you used to paint um, abs onto your body? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. That, that I do admit. I have a, um, a chapter called Eyeshadow Abs. Eyeshadow and, Abs. And, you know, it was like pop culture to show your stomach, and mm -hmm. I wasn't very comfortable with it. I didn't have a six pack, but I drew it on with my eyeshadow. <laughs> did that, <laughs> did it look like a, a six pack, or did it look like no. people were playing tic tac toe it was on you? It was tic tac toe. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, there's I a just, circle in the I'm middle. Like, oh, that's are, my like, belly shade button. This. Yeah, and like wow. I even shaded my belly button inside. Do you have stories that you that people ask you not to put in the book? No, I mean I yeah. I everything's am an open in there. Book. I think everybody expects like it to be open. And yeah, it, and it is. And like I was letting my family read every part, every chapter. Is there you anyone know. you're nervous uh, about when they read it, what their reaction is going to be? Mm -mm. No. Did you no. run it by everyone who is detailed in the book? No. <laughs> no. 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 All right. Because well. I think they might know what stories I'm going to say. I see. Well, yeah, well, all the boyfriends are in here. It's, uh, yeah. It's I... juicy, but it's also very inspirational. There are very, like, emotional moments. I mean, yeah. it is about my sobriety and my walk through life and um, just, you know, like success and how to handle it. And, right, right. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm very honest. Yeah, well, here it is. It's called Open Book, Jessica Simpson. It's available for pre-order right now and it comes out everywhere on Tuesday. Thank you for being here, Jessica. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. And if you don't support that, you are a monster.